A live look at Little Cottonwood Canyon under historic closures this week, opening for only four hours tomorrow just to let people down from the top of the mountain. It's been a long time since we've seen anything like this. People at two resorts stuck there since earlier this week as those unprecedented number of slides have hit the road in and out of the canyon. Take a look at video of today's avalanche. This is near Snowbird. It was sent in by Shannon Corey. Yeah, Two News wanted to find out who's responsible for the safety of all those people at the resorts when avalanche risk is so high. That's where we find Jim Spiewak live tonight. And Jim, crews are seeing slides in what is normally thought as very safe terrain. Yeah, absolutely, Heidi and Mark. We're standing in the mouth of Little Cottonwood Canyon. You can see the signs behind us right here. The road is closed. This is as far as you can get and here is the reason why just this week alone UDOT told us that they've had at least 30 slides that have hit the road here in the Cottonwoods that is pretty much unprecedented and they also told us that they're seeing some slides and paths that haven't been hit in four decades I planned for two nights Today is day five that Luke Stone has been at Snowbird. Look closely over his shoulder and out his hotel window and you can see one reason why. Today's avalanche that ended sliding into an area where many beginners ski. As soon as I saw that that was the area, I got sick to my stomach. Luke loves snowboarding, but he's ready to get home to his six-month-old son. I feel like the vast, vast majority of people here really, really want to get home as soon as possible. The situation over the last four days, almost five days now, has been an all-hands-on-deck type, uh, type scenario. There are multiple agencies, along with the resorts, that all have a say in what stays open and what closes during dangerous conditions. John Gleason with UDOT says they have no authority Authority to tell a resort to close. When there are uh, risks associated with avalanches that, that uh, we're all on the same page. During winter season, UDOT communicates with resorts every day and sometimes several times a day. Gleason says prior mitigation efforts were enough leading into this most recent big storm. It's unheard of to have this much activity and, you know, talking to our folks, the 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 danger has never been this intense before. Earlier today, during our two news live show at 5:30, Brian Schnee asked a Snowbird spokesperson about safety. How does everyone work together between Snowbird, between UDOT, between the town of Alta to determine if Interlodge should go into effect or if the resort is really safe at this point to enjoy? You know, it's a multifaceted equation up there. UDOT oversees the road. The town of Alta has their own structure. Snowbird is under its own structure. But when avalanche mitigation is taking place, we all coordinate to call those inner lodges. So um, if UDOT is doing avalanche mitigation above Snowbird, we will be an inner lodge for that. Um, and same for the town of Alta. Tonight, I also reached out to Alta Resort and the Forest Service to ask how they work with UDOT to make sure that the canyon and the resort are always safe and who ultimately decides if a resort stays open or closes. They have not gotten back to me. So Luke did also tell me tonight that he is very, very appreciative of the employees over the last five days that he has been up there. So for people like Luke and all of the other folks that have been up there, UDOT just put out a few minutes ago that there will be a temporary opening here in Little Cottonwood tomorrow morning beginning at 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. And that will be for downhill traffic only to get them out of the canyon. We're live in Little Cottonwood tonight, Jim Spiewak, KUTV 2 News. All right, let's hope that window stays open. Jim, thank you. Our team has been reporting from the canyons all day today and monitoring avalanche danger all season long. You can find the very latest from Darby Sparks reporting all on the 2 News mobile app.